Hello, believers, non-believers, and everyone in between. You're listening to Stories with Sapphire. I am Sapphire Sandalo. Now get cozy and open your mind because it's story time. The Kune Kune by Hayden One hot summer day in Japan, I was visiting my grandparents' house for a family reunion along with my parents, my older brother, and my two older sisters. They owned a small, two-level house in the middle of the countryside surrounded by large rice fields. As soon as we got there, I immediately ran up to my grandparents who greeted me with warm smiles and open arms. A lot of my cousins were there as well and asked if we wanted to play kickball. As the adults conversed, my cousins and I played in the vast open fields. We were choosing teams and the older kids, including my brother, decided to team up against us younger kids, which we all thought was super unfair. Being the youngest of everyone, I was always getting picked on or bossed around. But I had just turned 13. I no longer saw myself as the little kid everyone else still saw me as. That didn't matter, though. About an hour into the game, I told my cousins that I needed to use the restroom. I went up to my grandma and asked her where it was, to which she answered in a calm tone, it's right next to my bedroom upstairs. I thanked her and ran into the house. Be careful so you don't slip and fall, my grandma called after me. I shouted back, I will trying to hide my annoyance. After I was done using the restroom, I was about to go downstairs when I heard my cousins playing outside from my grandma's bedroom window. I poked my head out and looked down at my cousins and the adults. My grandma noticed me and waved. I smiled and waved back. I looked up to see the beautiful landscape of rice fields an ocean of rice stalks that extended for miles. I was about to go back downstairs when something caught my eye, far out in the distance. In the middle of the rice fields was a figure. It was completely white and seemed to be swaying or almost wiggling as if it was being blown by the wind, even though there was no breeze. Curious about what I was seeing, I scanned the room for something I could use to get a better look. Right next to the windowsill was a pair of binoculars that my grandparents used to look at birds and other animals in the area. I looked through the binoculars, and just before my vision landed on the figure, I heard a loud voice behind me. Hey! I jumped with surprise, dropping the binoculars and whipping around. My brother was standing in the doorway. Come on, everyone's waiting! I apologized. Sorry, I was just looking at something I saw in the rice fields. My brother looked out the window and saw the figure, too. It was still swaying, bending, and contorting its body parts in a way that no human should be able to do. It seemed very unnatural. My brother snatched the binoculars out of my hands and looked through them at the creature. His jaw dropped in awe. Well, what is it? You couldn't handle this he said. You're better off not knowing. This really set me off. I'm tired of everyone still treating me like a baby. I can handle it. Hand them over. I reached for the binoculars, and when I touched my brother's hands, they felt extremely clammy and cold. His face was now pale as he dropped the binoculars and grabbed his chest, His eyes were bloodshot and tears were streaming out of them like a running sink. In a panic, I started calling out for help. My parents ran into the room and when they saw my brother, they were in complete shock. They took him into the guest room and I could hear them on the phone with someone. My grandparents and a few of my other relatives were whispering nervously outside the door. Can someone please tell me what's going on? I pleaded. My grandma turned to me. Did you both see something out in the fields? Something 
wiggling. I nodded. She took a deep breath, knelt to my height, and said, You're a big kid now, right? I nodded, even more profusely. She continued, I want you to listen to me very carefully. I believe what you and your brother saw was a kunekune. They are completely white spirits that appear in open fields. Looking directly at them will drive you to madness. A shiver ran down my spine. Just then, I could hear my brother laughing maniacally from inside the guest room and running around the room. So what's going to happen to him? Is he going to be okay? I could hear my brother slamming his body into the walls, laughing and screaming as he did. I continued to plead with my grandma, snot and tears pouring out of my face as I tugged relentlessly on her shirt. Grandma, tell me he's going to be okay. My grandmother brushed my hands off of her, stood back up, and said, You're better off not knowing. <laughs> 